feel welcome and saturated in love when we dive deep into the vibration of love. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of Leo suns, moons, risings, and Venuses. Feel free to check out those videos in the playlist, which will be located in the description box below. I'm trying to gather some tea for you all. Thank you, Holy Spirit, on behalf of dear Leo. If you're new, please click subscribe so you don't miss a video. I thank you everyone for supporting me always, for supporting love in general. I am here to support you on your journeys. If ever you want to hop off the journey, dear Leo, you can. If you feel like you've got all the love you need and you can be a light to someone else, maybe start your own channel. I am definitely here to support others and encourage my brothers and sisters. Ear, good news, dear Leo. Kangaroo, unsettled times, you might need to plan ahead, okay? But good news, good news. And man, dealings or relationship with a man. So, okay, unsettled times, plan ahead. I feel like things might be topsy-turvy in your relationships with a man right now. If you are a man, you might be having a, a dealings uh, that are, you know, going through the motions of up and down, uh, you're unsure if you can make ends meet, you don't know if uh, your wife is, you know, cheating or not, or boyfriend, girlfriend's having trouble communicating out there, then suddenly good news comes through. Holy Spirit, what more can dear Leo understand about this good news coming in for them, Okay. The two that flipped upwards, dear Leo, acts. It says breakup, separation, show the pattern, stop the pattern. Silent treatment, abandonment. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. This is definitely about an ex. If you are a man and you're considering your ex, this reading is likely for you. If you are a woman and you dealt with a man and you're considering that you were heartbroken, okay, in a relationship with somebody from your past, this might be for you. Now, good news is coming in in regards to these people. So what's going on, dear Leo? Let's gather more in the recent past for dear Leo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Eight of Swords, you might might have felt restricted or blocked from a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. At present, you've just been working on yourself, focusing on yourself, loving yourself. Three of Cups, this is what's on the person's mind, okay? So somebody wanted to have their cake and eat it too, right? So perhaps you caught wind and you didn't want to feel like you were playing second fiddle to anyone else. So dear Leo, you remove yourself from the situation, but the person still kind of wants you in their life. This is your ex I'm talking about, okay? What is the good news though? <laughs> Trying to gather the good news up in here. How they view you, the Hierophant, my God, these people feel like you should be with them. Like you're attached like how dare you leave you know what i mean um there's a i kind of own you a, a, a ownership here with, with the people that are involved with you they feel like you're married in the spirit realm okay spirit husband and wife situation where you're not ever you never been married but this person always feels entitled to you um, you guys could go through like cycles round and round we go, but the person is very um, selfish because they definitely have their cake and eat it too. Page of Pentacles, deep down inside, they do want to offer you more, um, but they're very immature. They're incapable of being more than I think the page, which is someone who just talks about it. Could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Okay, dear Leo, this person, Six of Swords, does want to move forward peaceful with you, though. Okay, more air energy. I do feel like you're going to go into a better place with this person um, of understanding. But it has to do with them either choosing to be with you only and you'll give them that opportunity to be with you. Or you're just going to have to be platonic with them if they continue to be like in that player energy, okay? Because you've chosen yourself with the Empress. You're feeling beautiful. You're feeling good. And the only person worthy of you now, dear Leo, is going to be somebody who only wants to be with you, all right? 
So the good news is still coming in. The good news to me is that, yes, they want to move forward peacefully with you. So you won't have to worry about any exes coming back up into your life, bringing the drama. That is not what's going to happen here. What's coming in that you don't see? Perfect timing to find out and it's judgment. Wow. So there is a call to action. There is a closure. There is an apology. There is something that needs to be made straightened out with somebody from your past. All right. One of your exes to be precise, to be frank. And the advice behind this would be? Page of Swords, communicate with this person, all right? Give them a chance, hear them out. Yeah, it's definitely them because Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, you know, they, they wish they could have been better for you. Again, more immature energy coming out, but at least they're trying to talk and communicate. You know, the person means well, but they are, again, operating out of cake and eat it to energy, okay? So unless they can offer you one-on-one -on -one commitment, I know that you're not going to give them the time of day for a relationship. What's the outcome for the connection for dear Leo? And it's the moon. Wow. So that's it and more to be revealed as we clarify these cards. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But this just means that, yes, the person from your past, your ex is springing back forward because, you know, there's more to tell you, <laughs> more surprises. Can you imagine that? We have in your recent past, you were finally inspired to come out of your shell and stop letting, you know, the nature of your failed relationships rule you. Uh, you took off the judgment that you had put on yourself, the restriction, and you kind of went out there and focus your emotion and outpouring of love on who it who who really mattered to you you know so you left this person behind you focused on yourself you focused on your other loved ones you focused on someone new ultimately you chose yourself dear leo especially in dealing with an aquarius as well you either chose to love on one or to remove yourself from one but the empress that is recently with you is your energy because of this torch again that you carry for yourself there's a vigor and a passion and a true love that dear leo has found for themselves all right so despite anything from the past you've moved on you've healed and you're you're glowing i guess this is why they're coming back too you know Three of Cups is here on their mind, the Hierophant. Yeah, the Hierophant is so funny. Even though they want to celebrate a good time, celebrate good times, come on. Even though they want to celebrate a good time with, you know, two people, they really feel like they have the keys to you. <laughs> Hierophant coming out twice could be dealing with a Taurus. Somebody feels like, hey, you know what? You guys could also not be um, completely divorced yet. You could still kind of have ties. So you could be separated and not divorced right now. And this person is really feeling entitled because they feel like, hey, we're still married. You don't have to live with me. You don't have to be with me. You can have some boyfriend on the side, but we still married. You know, somebody feels like they still have their claws in you, dear Leo. The Hierophant here, Three of Pentacles, yep, because they want to build something new, construct a new opportunity together in this relationship. Can it be something? Can we have a future? Can your past have a future with you, dear Leo? <laughs> Page of Pentacles is here. Oh, Nine of Cups. They really want to feel just happy with you. But again, it's a selfish energy. See, them coming towards you to offer you this little pinnacle, this little page, this little guy who means well. It's really for their joy, their their satisfaction. This is so, who is so selfish? <laughs> selfish. But the six of swords, they they want to be peaceful. They want amicable solution with you. They don't want to fight. They don't want to get on your nerves here. Okay, it's here because yeah, the fool. A new beginning is exactly what they hope for. Just to start over from scratch. They're not even expecting anything. They don't have any plans, really. They just want to get back in good with their Leo. Judgment is here because Nine of Pentacles, ha, what's coming in that you don't see is that you're going to be freaking great, okay? You're sure and secure no matter who comes towards you to tell you what, the, no matter who feels what, no matter who has their, you know, 
wants and desires with you, you're going to be okay. Um, the call to action is for you to actually continue to be single if you are single right now. It's not to get back with these exes. This is just a heads up that these exes are still about, you know, trying to get with you, okay? Um, but I feel like, honestly, you just need to provide this person closure if you care to. Dear Leo, Page of Swords is here as the advice to communicate because, thank you, Holy Spirit, because Page of Cups, communicate because, again, the person means well, you know, they innocently and very immaturely are just coming because they like how they feel around you, you know, they want to be friendly, they won't bite, things like that. The moon is here because this was the outcome of the connection and this this was like secrets. There was stuff that the person may need to tell you. Let's see. Three of wands. Yeah, I want you, dear Leo. Wands, the element of fire. I already planned on coming back and now I see how we can make it work and I hope you hear my idea out and I hope you... <laughs> Invite me back in. Dear Leo, these people. What's the romance angels advice, Holy Spirit, behind this? How should dear Leo react to these people who feel entitled? <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Oh, it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Again, for you, I felt it would be platonic. For them, it would be delightful this person is still operating out of selfish energy though so you're not gonna be like you know giving them a chance like that you know but it's safe for you to love them open your heart it is the highest energy of all lovers oracle thank you holy spirit for dear leo what would you like dear leo to know holy spirit you got two baby Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So when these exes come through, don't feel like, again, they're coming, uh, you know, to ruin your life or anything. Let go of the resentment. Whatever happened, happened. You've moved on. You're glowing. You're sure. You're secure. You're, you're living life, okay? And Holy Spirit says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Listen, I hope they come back and tell you some good, good, good news. You know, maybe they found an opportunity and they want you present in it. Dear Leo, be blessed. Peace.